So today we'll be talking about linear search algorithm. In linear search, a sequential search is made over all items one by one. Every item is checked, and if a match is found, then the particular item is returned, or maybe the position is returned. Otherwise, the search continues till the end of the data collection. So let's now try to examine the code of a simple linear search. So what we have here is a declaration of the linear array. So we have here integer LA with the size of five and we have here the initial values. And then we have here integer I equals zero which, which will be our loop counter. Integer N is equal to five which represents the number of elements of the linear array. So since we have five elements, n is equal to five. Item is the item to be searched. So let's say we're looking for the number seven inside the linear array. Then found is a variable which is actually a plug for this example. Zero when the search is not yet successful or not found, and one if the search is successful or found. And P will be the position or the index of the array where we can find the item. So initially it is placed at negative one. We could not use zero because zero is actually the first position or the first index of the array. So we place it at negative one. And here is now the main code for the linear search. What we have here is the while loop, which ends on this particular block or the block will end here on this position. And it says here, while found equals zero, and i is lesser than n. So found is zero, that means we're going to loop while the search is not successful. And also that we haven't searched all of the items. That's why we have here i is lesser than n. So inside this loop, what we're going to do is to compare the item with the elements of the array, with the current element of the array, depending on the value of i. So if they are equal, then that means we have found the item. That's why we're going to place if found is equal to one, which is our flag. And we try to record the position. So the value of i will be the position. So p is equal to i. However, if it is not equal, then we proceed to the next element. That's why we have here i equals i or i plus plus or i equals i plus one. So after the loop, we have here now our output. So if found is equal to one, that means the, uh, the search was successful. So we could display the item and the position. So we can place here item, then the value of the item was found at position and then the position. However, if the search is not successful, then we can just print this feedback saying that the item, whatever the value of the item is, was not found inside the array. So that is actually the linear search algorithm. Now let's try to simulate. So initially, we have here the value seven, the item that will be searching inside their linear array. So N again is the number of elements, I is our counter, Found is initially zero and position is initially equal to negative one. Let's try to check our loop condition. So found equals zero, that is found equals zero, which is actually true because found is zero. And i is lesser than n, which is also equal to true because zero is lesser than five, that is also true. So our loop condition is now equal to true. So we keep on repeating the loop while this loop condition is evaluated as true. Again, found zero, that means item is not yet found, and i is lesser than n, that means that all items are checked. And in this code, we first compare if the item is equal to the linear array indexed by i. So initially i is zero. So we are referring to this element. So we are now comparing the item with this element. 
are they equal? So they are not equal. So what will the code do? We will add one. So in the next loop, I here should be equal to one. So now I is equal to one. And then we compare now item with LA indexed by I. So we compare seven and four. Again, they are not equal, so we increase the value of I. So I now is equal to two. Then we compare now seven with three, or this element number two of the linear array. So again, they are not yet equal, but our loop condition is still true, as you can see. So let's increase again the volume I. So this now, I now is equal to three. So we compare the item with the element of LA indexed by three. So are they equal? Yes. So if they are equal, found is equal to one. So we change the volume found to one and P is equal to I. So the position now is equal to the volume I. And since found is no longer equal to zero, this one becomes false. And you notice we use and, that's why we place here, and present in our auto loop. So the overall loop condition now becomes false. And that means we're going to get out of the loop. So once we get out of the loop, we have print now our output. If pound is equal to one, yes, it is equal to one. So we're going to print item. So item. So what is the value of the item? Seven was found at position. So P is equal to three. So item seven was found at position number three. So there we have our linear search. But what if, let's say, for example, the item we're going to search is not actually inside the array. So let's try to simulate this situation. Say I place replace item with eight. So again, we reset our values. I is zero, found is zero. P is negative one. Then our loop condition becomes true. So on the first loop, I is zero. We compare eight with nine. So again, they are not equal. So what we're going to do is to go to the next element. So I becomes one. We compare eight with this element. Again, they're not equal. So we go to the next element. We compare eight with three. Again, they are not equal. So we increase the value of I. So we go to the next element. So I becomes three. So we compare eight with seven. Again, they are not equal. Add one to I, I becomes four. We compare, they're not equal. So we again add one to I, I becomes five. When I becomes five, this condition is no longer true because five is not lesser than five. So this becomes false. So true and false will give us a false value. So that means the control of the program will exit from the while loop. So once it exits, if found is equal to one, that's false. So it will go to this part of the program and it will print item eight was not found inside the array. So that's uh, what happens if the search is not successful. So in conclusion, linear search is actually a simple search algorithm. And one of the advantages of linear search is it may work on unsorted collection. So the elements may not be sorted. Then it is fast when item to be searched is positioned at the beginning of the array. However, it can be slow when the item to be searched is at the end of the array, and especially when the array is quite big. Okay, that ends our lecture.